might not have quite the pizzazz as the NCAA tournament, but the WNIT is not a bad consolation prize for the Toledo women's basketball team. Last year, the team won the WNIT. It's the first national tournament title in school history. And this year, another impressive run into the Sweet 16 with a chance to advance to the Elite Eight. Must beat Virginia Commonwealth, and here they come. Toledo roaring through the cloud, and the team got out to a great start as well. Courtney Ingersoll with a steal. It's Ingersoll on the break. Ingersoll is the break. Later, fellow senior Haley Lynn is wide open, spotting up for three. Oh, yeah, Rockets build a five-point lead. Ladies hitting the boards as well. Andela Dortch, the rebound, the basket, and the foul. She had 20 points. Then Dortch on the run to Courtney Ingersoll. Yeah. Toledo ran out to an 11-0 lead at the end of the first half. Are you kidding me? In the second half, here they come again. Dorch, the basket, the foul. She had 20 points. Toledo goes on a 30-13 run to finish the game. 81-64 the final. They'll host Syracuse Saturday at 2 p.m. We truly do not want to go home. We, we don't want the season to end. Um, and, you know, it's, it's fun. And, uh, you know, why do you want something to end when it's, you know, you have these fans behind you and the student section behind you and we're winning games. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a great lifestyle right now. And you don't want that to end. It is indeed. More tournament basketball from Value City Arena, D4. That's Coach Jason Vermillion. Arlington tried to advance to the Final Four. Must beat Berlin Hillen. First quarter, standing toe-to-toe. -to -toe. That was Andrew Hunter getting the deuce. Later, going right to the basket. Thane Wrecker, tough task down low against the size, but he makes it. It's a four-point lead, but guess what? Hillen would go on a 11-0 run, capped off by that Dylan Kaufman lay-in. Boy, oh boy. Hillen wins it 46-37. You know, we, uh, it's been a crazy few weeks for us up in our town with the success of the girls, which is outstanding. And, you know, these guys have held their composure and poise throughout this whole run. And, you know, we gave our best effort, and it wasn't good enough today. Meanwhile, head coach Bruce Smith and the Winter Panthers are going through their final workouts as they prepare to place Lakewood St. Ed in the Division I state semis tomorrow at 515 over in Columbus. Whitmer's not lost in over two months. They'll play a St. Ed's team that likes to get it up and down the floor. They like to trap and make teams do things that they don't like to do, and uh, they have Miles Hamilton, who's my old age.